Hey, Pulling the Day, everybody, it's Royals fans, Sports Fan News. I'm Jaborg, and this is going to be the next game preview as we look to get revenge on the Wheeling Nailers who beat us at home in Reading this weekend, beating them in Wheeling this evening at 7 p.m. As the Royals come off of two straight um, tough 5 3 losses this past weekend, one that they were up early on and then blew um, and couldn't really find any answer in the wheeling game and a game against Newfoundland that was very frustrating because they probably outplayed them for most of the game and then we're still, just, like Kirk says, shit happened and we're not able to get it done. Um, but when it comes into this evening, uh, our Reading Royals are going to be looking to find their spunk again that they had before the 10-4 loss to the Trois Rivier Lions. And as Kirk McDonald said in the postgame presser, the, the maybe this team kind of needed paraphrasing like a like a checkup because everything was so smooth sailing. You're gonna hit these bumps in the roads at some point, and that's what I've been calling in my videos bumps in the road. That it kind of just checks you into place, and then you get realize okay, this is a lot harder than we not that we thought it was, but then we were having it going recently where everything kind of was just on cruise control. Now the Royals got to get right back to it. And I think they're a team that's perfectly situated to do that. The Winquist trade, according to Kirk McDonald, by the way, for people that are interested, will be completed soon. It's just logistics. And then the Hawkey, or not the Hawkey trade, the Hayden Levine trade from Allen is a trade that he already said is completed because that's just going to be money the other way to bring in Hayden Levine. So apparently those moves are completed. But when it comes to tonight um, against the Wheeling Nailers, <clears throat> It's, it's blatantly obvious uh, what our Reading Royals have to do. They have to, one, if they get up and take an early lead, be able to defend the lead better and not give up, <coughs> excuse me, not give up as many high-octane scoring chances that they gave up in that second period when Wheeling, I think, outscored us 3-1 to one in Saturday's game. In the second period, that was a very Flyers-esque, not Royals-esque uh, second period there. But when it comes to Wheeling, when we check in on the overall standings, they're second in their division. A, a decent clip behind Toledo, who's just way above the entire league in the overall league standings. But they are, are, as we know, a very good team that, as we know from last week, uh, can score and can defend when needed, but not the most squeakiest clean all the time. I've allowed 145 goals, 158 scores. Squeakiest clean defensive team, but they did shut us down when needed most. And they obviously also have uh, the good goaltending as well um, to get it done when it comes to their club. Where in net, they got Brody Clays, who continues to get better since he came over and started playing for Wheeling. And they also have Tefanos Lakis, who has been good this season for Wheeling as well. Alex Stevens, you got to watch when it comes to their defensemen. Same with uh, McPherson. Um, same with uh, Flegel and Miller. So there's different guys off of the back end. When it comes to um, depth scoring, this team obviously might not have as much as running, but they do have very good scoring. We saw Cam Hostinger, so it's going to be two brothers against each other. Again tonight, Brandon uh, Sagan can also get it done. Um, B Boomhauer can get it done. Cockrell, we saw, have a couple chances Doherty also has chances in pretty much every game he plays in. So this team is very, very potent in the wheeling nail. It's just, I think the Royals, I think Pat even said it going into Saturday's game, probably have more overall depth. It's just that that doesn't matter when push comes to snub in a hockey game, as we've seen where hockey's the sport that bounces. And, and Kirk McDonald said it himself when he compared it to, when he uh, contrasted it to basketball, I should say, where different bounces, different things kind of affect the game, where in basketball, if you kind of have the more better depth, better of a roster, nine times out of ten, at least eight out of ten, you're probably going to win that game. In hockey, that's not the case, where um, it's going to be interesting to see Patrick Watlin's also, of course, a very good player to watch out for um, on the wheeling nails. It's going to be interesting to see how our Royals come in, and it's beneficial, I think, to have a game recently, even in a losing effort against a team, because then you can look immediately at game tape, immediately correct it, and immediately come back to to the, um, putting that into effect against that team. And that's what they're going to look to do against Wheeling as our Royals have given up 127 goals against. That's less 145 goals scored than uh, Wheeling has allowed. And then obviously, we know for our running Royals, Morrison, Gooch, Braden Lowe, since coming back, if Cam Strong can come back, that would be immensely huge 
Uh, Holzinger has been good. Good to get the brothers going again. So it'll be interesting to see if Cockrell is in this game. Uh, but are back on the defensive end. Cormier has been fantastic. McNally's back, and he's going to be back in another game. So he's going to be kind of getting his legs under him again now in his third game back. So that'll be great to see. I think this is a game the Royals have lost three straight. I think if they can come in, get the lead similar to how they were able to do on Saturday, they're going to have the adjustments made, and they're going to be able to kind of keep pushing or just kind of have that great defensive jam style that we've seen the team have at different times this year, whether it's against Norfolk or Newfoundland or um, or even against Trois Riviere before they lost that last game against them when they're able to just kind of defend it up really well in the most times they need that the most, which we've seen our Reading Royals do. I think this game, the key against Wheeling, especially in Wheeling, is Try to go up like they did on Saturday. If they're able to do that, I think they're going to have the, the adjustments made and the adjustments in their head to be able to prevail in this game. But the biggest key is being able to, I think, get that first goal, particularly on the road. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Uh, please enjoy your evening and enjoy the game as the Reading Royals take on the Wheeling Nailers uh, tonight and then tomorrow as well at 7, 10 p.m. in Wheeling. Hopefully you can start tonight with a win and maybe even sweep them in the home barn to get revenge for them beating us in one game this weekend. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and go Royals. And please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the Easy News widget to keep the channel growing to the goal of 200 by the end of February or even 202, 203 maybe since we're almost right at 200 right now. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and go Royals.